Good day everyone, Complaining Gamer here. Recently I released a video comparing the Ryzen 2700X to the newly launched 3700X benchmarking performance in RPCS3 using Red Dead Redemption. Whilst I had no reason to doubt the results of the initial test, I often revisit and redo every benchmark and I found that my system using the 2700X did not provide accurate FPS statistics due to a bug I was having with my GPU and the RPCS3 upscaler. The difference was so vast that it forced me to delist that first video and provide the updated results here. I couldn't in good conscience leave a widely skewed comparison in favour of the 3700X out there when in fact the 2700X was capable of more. The redo also gave me a chance to change a few ways of how I approached the test matching as many elements like for like as possible. The 3700X footage comes courtesy of YouTuber Jexpec. A few details to know first is that the shader cache is pre-built and loaded on both systems which is achieved by simply playing the parts of the game you wish to show. Doing this prevents unnecessary stutter and FPS drops. The RPCS3 build and options used are on screen and are matched exactly. Note that the thread scheduler was not functional for Zen 2 processors when Jexpec did his testing on build 8351. Therefore, I turned it off too for parity, although typically I recommend using it. Always make sure to use the most up-to-date builds, especially when new CPUs are released. Additionally, the thread scheduler should now be working for Ryzen 3000 processors. When it comes to our systems and their differences, one could argue that this introduces scientific inaccuracies, which to an extent it will, but I do not believe to any significant degree as to negatively impact the usefulness of the results. In the description below, you'll find more hardware details. On screen and simply put, especially for those new to emulation, the tasks being performed are CPU bound. Therefore, the difference in GPU, for example, plays no role here. Upscaling to 1080 or 150% in RPCS3 does not introduce a bottleneck for the 1050Ti. The niche occasions where GPU becomes notable is when upscaling to 4K and above, or if you're using Xenia, the Xbox 360 emulator, which is very GPU focused. Ryzen performance typically does increase with tighter timings on RAM, so that potentially gives a slight edge to the 3700X system. The frequencies, however, are the same. I locked the 2700X CPU to 4.15 GHz to bring the clocks more in line with the 3700X, which did make it a little toasty, but not bottlenecked. Keep in mind that between Zen Plus and Zen 2, there has been a significant increase in IPC and decrease in latency, as well as making the move from 12 nanometer to 7 providing better performance at a lower temperature and power requirement. So we should naturally expect the 3700X to beat the 2700X, but by how much? Let's find out. I'm grateful, Mrs. Bush, that they are finally bringing civilization to this savage land. I could not agree with you more, my dear. My daddy settled this land, and I know he'll be looking down on us, pleased at how we help the natives. Yes, they've lost their land, but they've gained access. Do you mean unless an innocent receives communion, they're destined to go to hell? Uh, it hardly seems fair. Uh, what I mean to say, Jenny, is that there is a great deal of difference between an innocent and a savage. I never thought of it that way. Yes, they lived like animals, but they're happy now. <laughs> Not only do people now have motor cars, Father, but I heard that pretty soon, we will be able to fly. No, only angels can fly, Jenny. No, no, apparently people can fly. Didn't you hear? Out in Kansas, a man even got a car to fly. <laughs> I hardly think so, Jenny. A 
apparently Mr. Johns wants to run for governor, which is why he's so concerned with cleaning up the state. Nate Johns. Yes. His family is nothing but hillbilly trash that came here after the war. I don't want to be judgmental, but this state should not be ruled by such a disgusting family. A family without class. Apparently, the Johns family have made a lot of money, and he has a lot of friends in politics. Mrs. Bush, money isn't everything. There are many things that money cannot buy. It seems that money can buy gold. What you must remember, my dear, is that we have been brought here to spread the word. And the word and civilization, they are the same thing. They are the gifts. It is the opportunity we have, the chance to live among people who are decent and who do not kill each other. And who let you worship in peace. Uh, it, it's so confusing, Father. Sometimes I find it impossible to make the distinction between a loving act and a hateful one. I mean, they often seem to be the same thing. Yes, Jenny, it, it is confusing. But you only have to ask me if you need help. Indeed. Well, here we are, Mrs. Bush. Armadillo. Sometimes. I'm Jake. Your friend from Blackwater hired me to guide you. They ain't my friends, but pleased to meet you, Jake. I got the horses saddled up and ready out front. This here is what's left of Fort Mercer. Some gang rode in and took the place over. So I understand. This is where we part ways, friend. You have yourself a good time. Bill! Bill! 
I've come for you. Bill Williamson, come out here right now. Go away now, John. Don't make me kill you. Nobody needs to kill anyone, Bill. You must think I was born yesterday. You always did think I was an idiot. That ain't fair, Bill. You were as my brother. I've come to try to save you. <laughs> oh. oh. Do I look like I need saving? So, the results. What this test shows us is what we might expect. The 3700X is the clear winner, but not quite by the same dramatic margin as my earlier tests. Now, the question remains of how should we interpret this specific instance? In my opinion, with a pinch of salt. This is a test case of one on an experimental emulator on an unoptimized game, and even with those conditions, both CPUs managed to hit the target FPS of 30 at times. I believe that many more tests need to be done across a number of titles moving forward into the future. As a plethora of tech journalists have shown, the 3700X outperforms the 2700X in basically everything and is close to on par with the 9900K, with the 3700X smashing it in multi-core processes. As more tests are done and the results grow regarding the 3700X and the whole Ryzen 3000 lineup, I don't think we've seen its full potential yet. Stick around and we'll find out together. The happy surprise for me is knowing that the 2700X isn't done yet. Leave your ideas, thoughts and comments down below. If you'd like to see more, let me know. I'll catch you in the next one.